Well, I never thought the fabled NX reveal would beat me to the punch by one day, no less, but here we are. I said the next series on the channel would be something entirely new, and this is definitely that. Getting to the basic point, we're going to be answering an age-old question. Are you a kid, or are you a squid? Let's Play Splatoon will begin tomorrow. Yeah, a game primarily known for competitive multiplayer. The series will be a full playthrough of the single player campaign with story progress in every episode. In fact, this game is known for having one of the best single player campaigns in any shooter. There's something here for you, even if you're not into multiplayer games, it's still an enjoyable game on its own. But, we're not gonna be throwing the versus modes to the wayside and just saving them for some bonus video right at the very end. For one, I didn't really want to do that with how it's such a big part of what makes this game what it is, and for two, we all know me, I never get around to those things. <laughs> Versus will be a big part of this series, and I've put a lot of thought into how I would handle this. I want to showcase every mode, every side activity, the full story mode, every weapon, everything it is to be a Splatoon fan meshed into a series of videos. One of the ways that I'll be doing this might look familiar to those of you that have seen my Pokemon videos, when we'll be going into the ins and outs of what every weapon is capable of in weapon bios. I also thought it would be a fun change of pace if we had versus matches worked into the core series, not dominating everything, but at least dispersed throughout it. Those are challenges that I can't always win and are largely out of my control. Also, being a Splatoon player since the game was released, I have a lot to say about the different maps, different modes, different weapons, all that stuff. It's enough that I think could definitely make its own series on top of what we're already doing. And on top of that, in a game like this, community is an important thing, and I would want that to also be a big part of it. It might not be as big and as active as when Splatoon was new, but it's still a very friendly place with loads of creative people in it, and I want to give that the attention that I think it deserves. We will occasionally have guests on, but most of the time, I'll be playing matches alone with randoms. No voice chat or anything like that. It's entirely possible that you might be an opponent of mine in this series too. I will be advertising when I'm recording matches with randoms on my Twitter and Facebook. In fact, I've already been advertising this for a while now since this has been in the works for a long time. I just very craftily haven't said that it's for a Let's Play. If you consider that crafty, I honestly don't. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, that's about it. I hope this is something you like. A lot of thought, a lot of energy has gone into this. It's something entirely new, and I hope you enjoy it. I'm just kind of repeating myself now. Oh, right. I should probably address the thing. It seems like it's just my luck that every time I'm Let's Playing a game, within a day of announcing it, they announce a sequel in that series of games. And there was that Splatoon teaser yesterday. We don't know what that is. It could be a sequel, it could be an enhanced port with another round of DLC, it could be a lot of things, we don't have a release date for it. But the way I see it, that new game is so far off on the horizon, it'll be a while before it comes out. And if it's a sequel, then it won't have the same single player story as this game, and it still warrants talking about this one. If it's a remake or a port, then the information that I'm presenting here is still pertinent to the people who will play that game in the future. I still think this makes a lot of sense to do, even with that on the horizon. Either way, I hope this will be a fun time for all, and now for real. See you guys then.